Hello everyone, and welcome back to Flowers and Fangs, a vampiric legacy, and we are here with Amaryllis, and she has returned to the family farm in Forgotten Hollows to visit with her grandmother. So here is Cynthia Foxglove, grandmother of Amaryllis and owner of the family farm. And this is a really amazing vampire farm that was actually built by Simproved, and I saw it from her YouTube channel, and I realized I definitely had to have it because it is just so perfect. It is a plasma farm. So the one of the, at least, new plants that comes in the vampire pack is the plasma tree, and you can get plasma fruit from it. So instead of having to drink from Sims or get plasma packs or turn frogs and fish into plasma packs that you can use, you can actually get the plasma fruit from these trees and just drink that instead. And I was really hoping we would be able to bring Amaryllis over here and she would be able to dive on in and harvest some of these. They're really cool looking, aren't they? I was really, really hoping she'd be able to harvest some of them and get some plasma fruit, but unfortunately they are not ready to harvest just yet. So it looks like she's going to have to find some um, alternative sources of food because she is getting desperately hungry right now. And that's not very good. But I thought about it and last time we spent a lot of time. Where are you, Amaryllis? Are you hiding in the bathroom? There you are. But last time we spent a lot of time with Amaryllis's first human friend, Janelle. And Janelle is pretty hilarious. We actually managed to get her dressed up in some really cool <laughs> gothic cool outfits. Now. And by the way, you can tell uh, grandmother and granddaughter are very close, by the way. And they, they've been living together in the family home for quite some time. This is just an absolutely amazing, amazing house, by the way. I love it. It is in Forgotten Hollow right now. And I actually have a special mod installed. So it will always be nice in Forgotten Hollows and I think that that's perfect for this place. I did put it on a bigger lot so I threw down like a few different things to make the area look even more overgrown. Of course I always have to add in tons of the plants and then you can see it's right next to the big giant tree back there. There's just so much area to explore in Forgotten Hollows too. It's a little bit of a smaller neighborhood but I'm really looking forward to all of the exploring that we're going to do and I put down a whole bunch of different shops so that we can visit a whole bunch of different vampire themed places. We actually actually have a big vampire themed library all the way up here that we can come and visit by the graveyard. And then down here we have a vampire themed shop. So all of your coffin needs and other things that you might need to own as a vampire will be in this building over here. Over here, this is actually a vampire eatery. So I imagine this is where vampires bring their dates uh, who need to eat something. Oh, and look, there's even a spot we can do some fishing. Maybe we can get the vampire fish over here and be able to have a new pet. That would be so cool. Oh, and what's this? There's even a special grave all the way across over here. Hmm, too bad we can't visit there. That's quite intriguing. I love finding little spots like that. And then finally, over here, we have a really cool little curiosity shop. And this I saw on Tumblr, and I'll have to look up the name of the person who had it again, but this is just really fun. It's a really cute little retail store, so we might do some shopping over here when we have money, because we kind of don't really have a lot of money right now. <laughs> That's because Amaryllis isn't doing the best job managing her funds, and now she already has to return back to grandma before she wanted to, having to admit that she's not really been able to even feed herself properly, and I think that her grandmother would probably have some words for her. So let's go ahead, gossip about ancient vampires share mel melancholy thoughts oh my gosh we're gonna do that because uh cynthia here she actually has the desire to have a vampire family she wants to have the vampire creation ability she wants to be a minor vampire and she wants to just become stronger as a vampire um family aspiration the reward trait is i am the master cynthia has mastered all mind powers and has built a vampiric legacy she now has the power to command her vampire offspring with greater efficiency so she is a little bit of a controlling grandmother you could say and so i think she would share her melancholy thoughts with her granddaughter look you aren't even you already aren't even able to support yourself on your own you should just move back and take care of the family farm those kinds of things uh she is a gloomy lazy domestic lovely outdoor sort of sim so she's quite gloomy Maybe that's why Amaryllis's mother, Nightshade, actually ended up leaving to travel the world and find love and passion and something a little bit more exciting. But I think that Cynthia would say, 
since you haven't been able to find any any food, you can either go fishing and eat a fish like a, a noob, a newbie vampire, or you can go and find something fresh to eat. So we're going to go ahead and have Amaryllis come out. And I thought about installing a mod where you could just continually feed from the same sims, but I really like the idea of giving her the challenge of having to find new sims to feed from constantly if she's not able to support herself off of the plasma fruit. That goes very, very well with her uh, cereal of romantic concerns. Oh my gosh, and look at the statue of Vlad. It has a cool little raven on top of it. That's so neat. All right, so is this guy, is this guy a vampire? Can we drink his plasma? We could drink his plasma. Uh, let's see if we can find somebody. This guy's definitely a vampire right here. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Dennis, can I drink your plasma? I mean, he's hissing, so maybe he's a vampire faker. I think there's actually sims that will go around pretending to be vampires uh, when they're really not. And then there's a lady over here who looks like a lost tourist. Complimentary colors. This is interesting. I don't know those clubs. Do sims just come with their own clubs now? Uh-huh. Uh, this is more what we're looking for. Somebody who looks forlorn, lonely, on the fringes of society. He may be somebody that we might be able to feed off of. So I'm sure that a sim who just seems like he's out on his own, feeling sad, not really being monitored by others, that must smell very good if you are a vampire. That smells like a vulnerable, vulnerable person you can leap at. So let's go ahead and let her come and try to feed off of him, even though she's remembering like the cheerful, happy traits that uh, that Janelle had. She's very hungry and she is a bit of a serial romantic. So we're going to have her go ahead and see if she can feed off of this new guy. I really love the Forgotten Hollows look. Look at that guy. He's just like hissing as he walks. That is too hilarious. But I love this look. And I will be adding in... Ooh, who are you? Okay, yeah, he looks way too confident. He looks sassy and confident. So we won't worry about that with him. But I love the Forgotten Hollows area. And we will be rotating in all sorts of different lots to be able to check out what everybody's vampire builds look like as time goes on. But for now, I, I think we're going to have to start uh, visiting with this very sad guy who looks lonely and vulnerable. And like we might be able to try to cheer him up, distract him, maybe, uh, let's see, heartfelt compliment, gain a little bit of his trust. He has wandered into Forgotten Hollows and it is always night here because it is a natural safe home for the vampires. Let's go ahead, um, ask about his day. And then oh, let's go ahead. Hey, look oh, at you, you silly man. hissing creature. Go away, you're ruining the mood. And then let's come over, maybe enthuse about the outdoors to say, isn't it such a nice night? Stop playing the game. Get over here. Oh, there's another person. Oh, it's Jasmine Holiday. Jasmine, not now. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll enthuse about the outdoors to kind of enthuse about how the night looks. No, get back over here. I needed to feed off of you. Jo Johnny, come back. We were going to feed off of you. We were going to compel for a deep drink because she's really thirsty. Can we can we do that? I think that the lower her thirst gets, the more she just cannot resist any longer. And she has to have something to eat right now. So we're going to go ahead and let her feed off of him. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I think that Janelle is definitely somebody who she has more like impersonality connection with. And I think it's really funny. Janelle just thinks that she's like a cosplayer and wanted to cosplay and go to GeekCon. That's really cute. Janelle wanted to go to GeekCon. Totally approve of that. But, you know, when you're going to starve to death, you have to make some decisions. So we're going to compel him for a deep drink. Don't mind. Don't mind us random joggers. This is something normal in Forgotten Hollows. And I think that you actually knock them out if you have a deep drink too. But she was really, 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 really thirsty. And then I think that's going to increase her vampire abilities too. And then we can take on two more. Are you still, are you still conscious? And there he goes. 
Oh, and in the end, I think that's really kind of what Amaryllis thinks of humans. She kind of thinks of them as flowers and fruits that she can harvest and play with and admire, kind of like the real plants that she has. So hmm, we'll have to see if she actually ends up taking her relationship with Janelle or any of the other Sims that she meets seriously. For all we know, maybe Johnny is now going to just end up being somebody that she always searches out when she needs a drink. So now that that is taken care of and she's building up a little bit more vampire energy let's go ahead and try to do some searching here let's send her over fly here as a bat we're gonna send her over and follow her she is so cute she's such a cute little bat and then she'll just reappear in a whole nother area i should have had her fly as a bat to go and drain that guy that would have been so much smarter i'll remember that can she interact with this fountain or this statue let's view this statue because this is new this is so cool. So this is her home turf. This is where, oh, there's so many birds. Look at those birds. This is where she'll come back home to when she needs uh, kind of to just be a safe vampire, to be able to be in a place where she knows she's going to be able to find food. She'll have support from her grandma, but she really doesn't want to be here. She wants to be able to prove her worth. She wants to be able to prove that she can take on the world on her own and she can make the vampire floor shop work. So the littlest sh floor shop of horrors is her goal and she's going to be thinking I think about like great ancestors who knows I bet Vlad was related to some sort of master ancestor also Cynthia how the heck did you manage to get gaming skill I'm not even going to question it you are such an interesting an interesting sim Cynthia you do you you go ahead and she's got all sorts of special teas she can serve I'm going to well and she wouldn't really drink any of them because she's a vampire so Cynthia can do whatever she wants and we're supposed to be supporting grandma all right, so I think we're going to do a little bit of investigating around Forgotten Hollows today. Like this plant. Ooh, what is this plant? This is the best plant. What is this? Okay, wild 6M mosquito trap. The Insectium simnorvi, or 6M mosquito trap, is from the same genesis as the, uh, I think that's the cow plant. Its intimidating look is much less of a concern to Sims than to the wandering insect. <gasps> and I can harvest from it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Amaryllis, Amaryllis, let's come, Amaryllis, it's eating insects, Amaryllis, I'm in love with this little thing, we need to get one of our own, imagine selling these, that would be so much fun, this is a wild 6M mosquito trap, I cannot wait, can you harvest these things, what happens, what do you get, oh my gosh, I want to harvest, I want to be able to grow these, they're so cool, uh, let's see. Is this one ready to harvest? Darn, none of these are ready to harvest just yet. All right, but we've got a lot of things we can look over. What's this? And this is the wild wolfsbane flower. So let's go ahead and view it. And we have quite a few wolfsbanes uh, back at home, actually. So we probably don't need to actually take these ones. But you know what? We could always sell it. Oh, and then what's going on over here? It looks like that vampire guy is back and he's interacting with Yasmin, huh? So you know what, lady? Showing up over here. You know what you're getting into with the vampires. Are you also a vampire? Oh, there's another there's another wild wolfsbane plant. So we can actually find a lot of the plants over here. Oh, is that a wild plasma? Ah, oh, dang it, but there's no fruit on it. So there's quite a few plasma trees over here. Oh, there's a wow, there's a waterfall. What? This place is so pretty. Amaryllis, this is awesome. I wonder if she could go fishing. She does enjoy being out and she actually does want to go fishing. So let's actually bring her over here and we'll try to do a little bit of fishing by this waterfall. This is so cool. I really love it. I love that you have the cattails. I love the ambiance here. This is really awesome. And is this guy ready to harvest yet? Look at him. <gasps> He's moving. He's moving, you guys. I love it. I want to have these. I want to sell these at her florist shop. This is this is just the most perfect little plant I have ever seen in my entire life. This is just, I am so in love with this little guy. He's so cool. All right, and then what's going on over here? So Amaryllis has just acquired the fishing skill. So who knows, maybe she'll start selling some fish too. More sad sims, you know, where sad sims appear. That's temptation. A little bit of temptation. I feel like the vampires really seek out those who seem to feel sad and on the fringes of society. All right, so we'll see if Amaryllis is able to catch herself uh, anything. And meanwhile, her grandma is sound asleep. 
All right, you do you, Grandma. You go ahead and sleep. But we'll see if we can get the vampire fish, because that would be really fun. Oh, or some frogs. We could get her some pet fish or frogs, and she might even be able to eat off of some of these. Uh, or she might even be able to... Is that Johnny again? What? And now she's just feeling randomly flirty. What? Out of the blue. Let's catch a fish first. And we also want to eventually get the cow plant and grow like a whole bunch of cow plants at her florist shop. But we spent a couple days focusing on romance and vampire abilities. And now I'm really hoping when we get her home, we'll be able to focus on starting to sell some product. So we'll go ahead and have her do some fishing for just a moment, just long enough to be able to fulfill that fishing ability. And maybe she can send a flirty text to Janelle, because I feel oddly loyal to Janelle. Because Janelle seems actually interested in her, like, as a personality, and not just her as a vampire. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Amaryllis. Try fishing somewhere else until she has more skill, or try using more valuable bait. Well, fine, if that's how you're going to be fish. We didn't we didn't want to eat you anyway. See, the fish know better. They know that there's a predator out of the water. Hmm. All right. Ooh, and there's a whole, there's a whole uh, grave over there. Interesting. Those are so cool. <gasps> that's awesome. Oh, look at that gargoyle with all those candles. We need to put something like that in her garden. That's going to be so fun. But all right, let's try to find some spots where she can gather things that we could sell back at, um, where that she could sell back at the store. I think I saw, yeah, over here, there's a mine. There's a really cool abandoned mine and it has a whole bunch of fossils. So we'll have her fly here as a bat. And it'll look like she almost belongs in this cave. That's so cool that she like instantly transports herself over here. And we'll dig these up and... Oh my gosh, that's the best. That is the best. Isn't this so cool? She's just surrounded by bats all of a sudden. I love it. This is awesome. They're just like pouring out of the cavern as she leans down to be able to collect up from these fossils. I bet she feels at home. Also, I love how many of you guys say that Amaryllis is like a fruit bat when she goes into bat form. That's just so cool. All right. So we have some uh, limestone fossils that we could possibly sell. That'll be really useful. Look at all those bats. That's so cool. And then let's go ahead and collect up some of these pieces too. And we'll sell whatever we can at the store. And then we'll sell some of the darker colored plants too. And actually, there are a whole bunch of wolfsbane that we can come over and harvest up in just a second. And that'll help her gardening skill. So what does she want to do? Oh, she wants to find a collectible. That's cool. <laughs> Did you find something cool? Yay! She found a little, uh, a little capsule. So we'll try that out. And I want to send a flirty text to... I think, especially now that night is coming, so that would be the time when she would be awake. Uh, oh, and what's this? Oh, she wants to stargaze with her grandma. That's so sweet. And I also want to send a flirty text to Janelle so that we can go ahead and continue with that relationship because we do need to make progress on the boyfriend or girlfriend. And I could see Janelle being her first girlfriend. She's a serial romantic, so uh, probably wouldn't be the only one. But let's see, hopefully that counted for flirty. It didn't really. She wants to freshen up in the mirror, stargaze. But we'll go ahead and send her over to the garden because she does need to, whoops. And I love that we can just, I just need to have her fly as a bat everywhere. It's so instantaneous, it's amazing. And I love this house. I didn't show you guys the house properly, but just really quickly, I'll show you. And again, this is from Simproved and she has a YouTube channel and a Twitter and I saw it on her, I think I saw it on her YouTube or her, her Twitter first and then I checked her YouTube channel. But this is the Vampire Farm. I think you can also find it on the gallery as the Vampire Farm. And as you can see, it is pretty awesome. It comes with a fully stocked uh, vampire orchard of plasma trees. And when those guys are ready to harvest, that'll be really amazing and very useful for us. It has a little shed in the backyard that is just so cute. And it has a little wood woodworking table in it. It has all sorts of little decor pieces, vines all over the place. I'm so in love with all of that. That's just so cool. And then in the house, we've actually got a nice, small, very tight little house. You've got a little living room over here. You have a little entrance foyer. You've got like a little kitchen, which just by the way, you can't actually use. I had to move the fridge out when I was uh, in the middle of transforming Amaryllis into a vampire early on. And then upstairs, 
you've got a few nice bedrooms where you have a coffin, you've got a bed, just a nice beautiful traditional area, including hint hint. I'm pretty sure that um, Amaryllis's grandmother wouldn't mind having some vampiric grandbabies show up inside of here. So there's even a spot to put your little babies and then there's a little uh, sitting room right over here with these beautiful, <gasps> we need to get our hands on those, that beautiful painting. Oh my goodness, I love it. There's an organ which by the way is actually one of the uh, favorite things, <laughs> favorite things of Cynthia. She really loves to play the organ and work on the organ skill. And I wouldn't be surprised if she starts pushing Amaryllis to learn it too. And then there's even the little upstairs where you have like a tiny little vampire bar and a really cute little setup where it looks like you're making some potions by combining a campfire with a little potion, um, little itty bitty potion decorative piece. And I just thought that was really creative. So there's even the little bar upstairs, very nice. Nice. I really like it. And this is the farm that Cynthia will stay at and where Amaryllis was raised. So we'll have her go ahead and harvest all of the wolfsbane that she can. Because at the very least, we can sell that and we can grow a bunch of it back home. So wolfsbane. This flower is nothing special in its raw form. When used as an ingredient in food and drinks, it will affect the nocturnally oriented. So I wonder what we can do with it. Like, can we eat it? Can we add it to food? So I'm going to have to find out what we can do with wolfsbane. And then we did find a pretty crystal, but I imagine that she likes to, um, that she probably likes to sell or like keep most of the crystals instead of sell them. And we have so much wolfsbane. I wonder if we'll just end up selling it outright or if we'll sell it in the shop. I'll have to figure it out. All right? No, don't, don't do anything with it. Achievement all nighter. Oh, have a sim stay awake for 24 hours straight. That's pretty easy when you're a vampire and you don't really sleep sometimes. Like, that's really easy. Um, and then let's see. What is she working on now? She wants to go take a bath. Is there anything else we can have her do? She can't really gather anything plasma-wise. So she came back home to the family farm specifically so that we could try to gather up the plasma fruit. But unfortunately, it's still not available. And who's this? Oh, that's Akito. So that's actually like Cynthia's friend. So Cynthia will have her friend visit and they'll be able to hang out. But all right. So Amaryllis wasn't able to gather up the plasma fruit and her grandmother basically gave her a bit of a speech on if she's going to be a proper vampire and take care of herself, then she has to feed on whatever's available. So she'll just have to remember that. And next time we'll have to see if we can tempt a human in from outdoors. We'll have to like stand and be like, come in, come in. And actually running the shop, I think Amaryllis just realized if she gets the shop up and going and starts selling things in the store like she's supposed to, then she's going to end up having a lot more people show up during the day that maybe she can convince to step into the shadows for a second for a quick little bite. So that'll keep her sustained. It's almost like she's a uh, black widow or maybe a Venus flytrap herself setting up the stage and opening up a shop specifically to attract in some sims to feed off of. So we're going to send her back home and we are going to start setting up the shop so she can start selling things and getting her gardening skill really worked on. And then we'll see uh, what her other whims are and where she really wants to go with her romantic traits. Maybe we should invite Janelle on a date pretty soon. So a nighttime date, maybe to a garden where we can go and gather up some more of the plants so we can really get started with the florist part of running the little florist, <laughs> the little flower shop of horrors is what we're going to call it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.